Hey everyone and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Driven Automated Container Terminal. In this episode we're going to actually move some containers, but before we do we're going to have a look at the problem that was at hand in the previous episode, which was the cable management of the cable that comes off the uh, crane. Now, um, thanks to the tip of you guys, I pretty much solved it and I was focusing on fixing the cable that's coming off the crane on this point here at the end of the track because before I was using a cable chain and in that system you need to fix it on this side now um, but thanks to you guys a tip fix it in the middle I did that and that solved the uh, the problem now I just built a normal box and as you can see there's a cable inside which you cannot see let me just just the lighting a bit there it is there's the cable and yeah, well, it's actually a very simple system compared to uh, the other systems that I uh, built, which were more dynamic system systems, but it, it does the job. So, um, and it looks cool, if you ask me. First design was just plain. It was uh, dark bluish gray and it was boring. And then I thought like, okay, I can add some uh, corrugated panels on the, on the, the back side of the, uh, of the box. In dark blue is gray, but then I saw the price of them and I was like, no, not gonna do that. So I decided to go for turquoise and actually it looks pretty cool. Gives a bit of extra color and uh, so I'm actually pretty happy with, uh, with the design. Now we're gonna have to move some containers now and I just installed a program that's very simple. It's picking up this container here. It's moving to, I can't remember. <laughs> To, uh, I don't know, to the to the train wagon or something and to, to the other mo uh, monorail and then back to this position here. So it's a very basic program, but you see uh, that it runs very good. We have to enable the compressor first. It's gonna have to boot up, add some air to the system. So see you in a while. All right, the compressor has pressurized the air system. It's now ready to go. I'm gonna enable the powered up hub which will make contact with the microcontroller and it will go to its initial position first as you can see and now it will start moving and as you can see the whole system works pretty well This is just a uh, simple program to demonstrate that the whole thing works. Well, you saw some movement there. I don't know if you saw it, but the monorail was moving a bit like that. It's because there are slopes here and it was not exactly aligned. So it was pushing it down and that's why the monorail moved a bit. But just minor details, which do not matter very much. All right, that's it for this episode. Um, next episode, yeah, what's going to be on next episode? Well, th the red crane works actually now, so I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to tile it up, of course. It needs to look uh, a bit nicer than it looks now, and I uh, need to connect the uh, the motors of the monorails or the switches of the monorails to uh, to the terminal that I have here. I need to extend it a bit. This is the uh, connection terminal, which contains a uh, connections that go to the other crane, which has the uh, the uh, overall control system. And I need to think about the overall con control system because I haven't thought it through yet. So next episode, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do a sort of test with with some camera equipment. So I'm gonna do a a nice video with some movements of the camera i'm gonna try it out i got some new gadgets so i'm gonna do that and um yeah i'm gonna spend an episode on that first um that's gonna be also on my main channel as a short i'm gonna have a look into shorts a bit as my main channel isn't going very well of course because i i'm not uploading enough um that's that's a problem that i have for years right now uh, but i'm now losing subs very quickly so maybe 
uh, uploading a short so now and then will solve that problem. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. This one is going off. All right. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you think of it and uh, if you like this system or not. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.